Hey, and welcome to Get Control University, the place where you learn how to get more done. And when you get more done, you have more fun. Today, I've got a couple really great teams, tips and tricks for you. Let's get started right now. Here are three really useful teams tips. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and visit us at getcontrol.net if you need tech-driven time management training for your team. Okay, tip number one, if you're trying to get in touch with someone and they're really busy, it's sometimes very frustrating to connect. They're always do not disturb while you're looking to get in touch with them. Well, if you hover over a particular profile in the chat section within Teams, you can click on the three dot button and what you'll see is that you can select notify when available. Now, the second that Jim gets out of that busy meeting or comes back from lunch, I'll get a pop-up and then we can connect and get work done. If you click into the search box and select forward slash, you get a whole bunch of great shortcuts. Click on keys to get a comprehensive list of all the keyboard shortcuts that are featured within Teams. And finally, if I need Jim to do something important, I'm not just going to send him the usual quick blurb in Teams, right? What I'm going to do is communicate effectively by clicking on the format button, selecting a larger font, and typing in my request. Now that larger font will grab Jim's attention and I'm going to bullet point the, the other information so that it's really easy for him to process. Use bullet points or numbers. Try not to get into the paragraph format because that's harder to follow. Try these three Teams tips and I think you'll find yourself getting more done and having more fun at work. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and please visit us at getcontrol.net if you need information on team training. This is GCU.